on the pathway from invisibility to visibility on, on people with disabilities, uh, when you are talking to the industry leaders or sector leaders across not just NFP, but across other sectors, whether it's mining or consulting or accounting or any of the professional services, what are the biggest roadblock they face, do you think they face at the first hiccup or the f to pick up the phone and give you a call? And, and, and arrange some time to understand how they can employ people with disabilities? I think the first is awareness. There are 4.4 million Australians with disability. So that's, that's one in four, one in five Australians. Yeah. That's also one in three households in Australia. Yeah. So despite those numbers and that representation being quite high, mm -hmm. Not a lot of people have got lived experience of disability and it's not until you're diagnosed with disability congenitally from birth or you acquire one later in life or you have a personal or professional connection to it that you start to become aware of some of the barriers and challenges that are preventing people with disability getting into work and maintaining that work. And when I talk to employers, they tell a, a similar story about, well, how do I access this talented pool of labour? Yeah. Uh, we're not sure. Sure, um, they say, or how do I support people in the workplace in terms of the experience to make workplace adjustments? Uh, what, where do I go for training for my staff and my managers and supervisors to have an inclusive workspaces? Uh, or even understanding of the types of jobs people with disability can do. Uh, within Good Sammy, we have directors and management and frontline staff with disabilities. Uh, there are people with disabilities running large organisations in Western Australia. They can do all tasks. And so really it's just asking employers to open their mind up to a diverse and inclusive workplace. And there's been great focus in previous years on Indigenous and Torres Strait Islanders in women in leadership. Yeah. Uh, it's really time to bring an equal focus to people with disability and ask yourself, what is the proportion of my workforce with disability and does it match that representation in my customers and the stakeholders in the communities which I operate? So I'm really keen for employers to ask that question. And if it doesn't match, reach out to Good Sammy and work out how we can help them on their journey to inclusivity and diversity. And the core cool way I'd like to do that is really by delivering uh, uh, commercial services um, into those organizations. I want to do that by helping people with disability follow their employment aspirations and goals, be that in that organization, outside of Good Sammy or within Good Sammy or through training and education. I uh, really want them to shine. So uh, just need people to come along the journey with us. Thanks for sharing that.